Hi, I'm on this later time, we're back again with Eddie the Boulder and the Adventure here in Louisville. So let's just get down this balcony. I actually started up a little bit here and um, made some progress down. Oh, and attracted some zombies. They've had it out for me. I took down my first the street. There's quite a couple of groups. Um, attentive to me. Following me around. This is the place we want to build another base. Oh, what's that? <coughs> wow. <coughs> I'm very sorry. My throat's just not cooperating. Okay, so we got a bakery. Oh, yeah. Which is just a bunch of rotten stuff. It's always just rotten stuff. At least it's got some money. What's that gonna help me now? Ooh, cake batter. That's an interesting one. A rotten uncooked bread. I wonder if it'll actually cook healthy or if it's also gonna be rotten when it's cooked. Oh, okay, let's see. And nothing. I need to open this up. No attention from the locals. Let's just see what's in here. Apron. That's not very useful. Beef jerky. There we go. Now you know your customer. Beef jerky. Oh, this is a butchery. It's gotta be. It's gotta be a butchery. Yep. Okay, so basically that dehydrated meat is all we get. Everything else is pretty much rotten. Still nice though. Nice to have a store so close. I managed to get this car. Let me actually get this one into position too. Look at this neat, clean car. Go. I also found two new sledgehammers in the pawn shop. So pawn shops appear to be pretty good places to find sledgehammers. Okay, let's just see. In this. Nothing. Empty trunk. Good old reliable. Lock the doors. Mm. Let's see if that works. It's nice and peaceful now, but I took out quite a lot of zombies just to, to get the pains. Okay, now, there you go. Other problem is. I don't think I've got any planks. I don't know where I put them. I should still have a lot of planks. <laughs> Somewhere. Okay, let's first check if we can... Okay, that was easier than I expected. Let's see if we've got any current inhabitants. Beautiful stove. This is gonna make a nice base. <coughs> oh, yeah. Okay, so it doesn't look like this is coming. I should actually think about that. Um, all the zombies that I just encountered in the street. Previous episode, I shot up the place. Maybe they. <clears throat> Just the natural result of zombies coming due to all the gunshots. And that's not even like a shotgun, that was just with a, a fairly low noise pistol. Oh yeah, oh, I'm not missing that. Um, that's very useful. What's this? Anything to eat? Ah, nothing. 
Serial, yes. Okay. So now we need some escape ropes. That's the first thing. We need to ropeify this place. Ropeification. Come on. Come on, rope. Okay, so that's enough for three and a third plate. Let's make enough for three. That's nah, more than five, that could be enough. Okay. <coughs> oh, and it's got a propane grill. Huh? Whoa. Uh -oh. That was not my plan. What happened? Slight damage. Look, there's not much. Shrink. Oh, do. Turn on. Okay, it's got a propane tank for it. That's pretty good. Um, that's in there. Can you add in there? But overkill. But overkill. Uh, one on this side. And there's not a window there. Window here. Hmm. I'm not sure if I'm going there as well. Southern side, northern side. Now nah, let's put one here at the bathroom window. This is actually a a very cool little base here. Got windows on all the sides. It's got a staircase that's demolishable. There we go. Let's go and test one. Okay, always good there. This, uh, I think, this is actually a very, very, very good base. I don't know what to call it because it's not built on any specific shop. It's just like in the area. Slow jam. There we go. Take out the stairs as always and we can continue with other things. Uh, come on up here. Go. Okay, okay, okay. I, I hear ya. I see ya, I hear ya. Let's see what you can do about this. They could do something like this, that would be great. They would actually have to demolish the railings like this. Demolish them, point. No. It's going to be a floating rail. Okay. Got no other choice. No other choice for a floating rail blip. Sometimes you just have to make sacrifices. At least we say. Whoops, what the heck? There you go. It's obviously not gonna do with the burpees. Just not yet. <coughs> okay. So we've got water supply in the kitchen. This might be easier than I thought if I actually put a staircase right here on this strip. Oh, wonderful. I like I like having a garbage can. We'll, we'll find a place to put your friends. It's right there. I'm thinking of is actually taking these items and placing the staircase right there, right where this propane tank is at the moment. This propane gas barbecue. I can put it there. Very good that I don't need to reconstruct these, there's no risk of destroying them. Uh, let's see, where can I place you? Yeah, just next to the window, fantastic. Okay. 
Where is that propane tank? Nope, I'll give it the propane tank back. For now at least. I don't think I'm gonna need it right now. Super okay. Now what we need uh, uh, is a whole heap of planks. I don't know where I put all my planks. Do I still need sledgehammer? You know what? I do. I do. I almost forgot. I need a sledgehammer to remove this little piece of fence because I'm planning on putting a stair there. Either we put a stay up here on the balcony that'll go to um, the kitchen sink or the bathroom sink. Let me see, we might actually be able to get the kitchen sink. Yeah, it's on this side. How am I clear not to successfully remove that? Any curtain? Chance to break 25. I think I might just build the staircase to the side. I'd rather do it that way and be sure about it. <coughs> 140. No zombies. Okay. Oh! <laughs> I think I'm gonna go back to the pawn shop base and just check it with the planks. But as soon as I get there, I'll just go pick the line because it might take a while to get the planks. It looks like they're starting to get the message. Okay, so I'll do the flip fly, get the fly, get the plates, and then I'll see you at the plates. Shot up front. <laughs> well, at least my engine's still. I'm basically just living off a new car and stuff. Okay, so I've got a booth full of stuff. I need to put it here.
not. It's still just five o'clock. So early. Okay, I have no idea what to even start taking. So let me start doing trippy fly again. I'll do all the base sorting because this is gonna take a while. This way, this way, this way. Wow. I'm very single minded. Oh! Suddenly we lost the other one. Oh! Didn't you have a knife on you? Look like that now. Oh! Man, this whole group's still here. Oh, are you still here? Useful, useful kind of thing. Very near. You know, impregnable, man. Just can't get to me if I'm up in the sky. Let's just see. Can't see anything. That's a bit unpleasant. I don't like it. Oh, like it. Big risk. And then the question is obviously, why did you take the risk then? You could have just left the stuff, but I guess I'm silly that way. Real silly. Come on. Okay, I'll get the planks loaded up with the short flip if I want to see That's about what the car can take. Let's shift that over to the bag and then we'll be on our way. I do like to do these drives without the flippy fly just because ever since I learned about the handbrake turn, it's just a lot of fun.
staircase, very few floor tiles, it's a good worst plot, once again, easy conversion, just take out the stairs, which, given the pawn shops, it's a damn sledgehammer. Oh! Oh! That did not making more rip sheets and just bandage yourself. Okay, okay, that did not go well. I am severely hurt. This car can just start the game. far away from the base so I'm just gonna have to go back got a bottle no oh, got no bottle wait a minute and empty this one out there's that white car up there let's just put a little bit of gas in there if I can hot wire that car up there we can actually just get back to the base and then I think then I'll have to call you for this episode because we'll be lucky to be alive. <laughs> that really did not go as planned. I can't believe how close this thing was to being totaled. But I'm gonna need to get a car, go down to the pawn shop, get my other van, come back up and reload all that stuff. I hope this car is usable. Mm, usable? Dismantle car wreck is the only option. Oh, okay, there we go. Let's see. Please tell me I can salvage this. Oh, I nope. Please give me back. Okay, it looks like I'll be going back to my base. Ah, the trunk locked or something. Oh, it's locked. Okay, I'll just be going back to base on foot, it seems. This is not ideal. Oh, goodness, I might die. This might be the end of the series. This might be our 84 is taken down. Because they're going to be bubble eating. Or I just need to try and run past them. Being sleepy as well. This is not the way. That one will see me. Let me just run straight up. I think if I go through the woods, I might make it. I'm not exhausted yet, so let's just try. Let's just try. I don't want to end it this way. Car accident. I've only just started building my bases. Homies just started. Oh man, it's starting. The exertion's coming in. Uh, I, I think we might make it. I think we might make it. As long as I don't get too exerted or as long as I'm not a horde or a little beat that's stuck in. With this compound, as soon as I'm in here, I think we're pretty safe. Okay. All we can take out of this is we survived, fortunately. And the rallying has its limits. Oh, there's a van up there. Okay, we can just take that van. Not too big of an imposition. But yeah, we sleep at the main base tonight, that's for sure. Gotta fix this dude. Thank goodness he didn't break a bone. Okay, 
hours. Okay, everybody, so I'm thankful we made it, but unfortunately, we've got a bit of a setback, so we'll be finishing that base on another episode. At least we survived. And I might, because I think we're pretty clued up on how to do it with other episodes. I'll just be adding a few strips in here from time and again just to increase the base's capacity because we've got all this roof and those snacks aren't going to last forever. But I'll, I'll just do that in between. Just give you some updates on the roof farm. But thank you very much, everybody. This has been Eddie Four, who's thankfully survived uh, <laughs> crashing into a wall. Uh, and I'll see you in the next episode of his adventure. So thank you very much and have a very good day. Bye bye.